back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. I am coming at you today with another Trader Joe's haul, but this one is all things fall. All the smells, the scents, the flavors of fall. I can't wait to share with you everything that is fall related at Trader Joe's. I do have a few pumpkin things sprinkled in throughout this video because they are new to the store. And I also have done two previous Trader Joe's pumpkin hauls, all things pumpkin. I'll link those down below for you guys with a taste test. So we are doing a taste test today as well. I will be trying the majority of the products that I picked up that are fall related from Trader Joe's. There will be some products that I don't taste because maybe they need to be prepared or cooked. And also I did not buy everything that was fall at Trader Joe's. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, I didn't pick up products that I didn't see myself using and I didn't want to spend money and have them go to waste. So at the end, after I show you the actual products that I purchased, I'm going to show you all of the other fall products at Trader Joe's so that you can add them to your next shopping list. So if you are new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd stick around, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I also just started my second channel, which is all about nutrition and weight loss. And I would be honored if you would head over and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to grow that channel and make it as successful as this one. So head over and join me over there. It is linked down in the description box. Also in the description box, you're going to find the links and discount codes to my favorite things. My two websites, one that has all of my recipes and the other one that is solely for nutrition coaching. I have macro calculation, calorie calculation, one-on-one -on -one and group coaching, a little bit of something for everyone. So make sure that you take advantage of the services that I can offer when it comes to weight loss and nutrition coaching. And you'll also find the link to join me over on Facebook. I'd love for you to join my amazing community over there. It's very loving and supportive and we'd love to have you. So before we jump into today's fall haul and taste test, give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited and let's take a look at my final fall shirt for 2020. So today's shirt says, you had me at pumpkin spice latte. I am here for all of the fall shirts. As you know, I have three. They're so soft and comfortable. These I purchased off of Instagram. It was an Instagram ad that got me. I couldn't even tell you what company it was, but you can Google fall shirts and find some really fun ones. And they also have some on Amazon as well. So let's jump into this Trader Joe's fall haul and taste test. that I want to share with you isn't even food. This is the Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. So I pick this body butter up every year. It is very moisturizing and my skin can be pretty dry in the fall and winter months and it smells amazing. So I am going to smell it again. I'm hoping it's just as delicious as last year. Oh yeah, that is so good. So it isn't spicy at all. It's definitely pumpkin-y like a pumpkin vanilla. Amazing. So I recommend picking this up at Trader Joe's. Like I said, it feels really good on the skin. It's super inexpensive, lasts a long time and very, very affordable. I am going to actually be putting prices and points here on the screen for you as well as calories because I did have a couple people ask me to include calorie content as well. So number one for the fall haul. Number two is the pumpkin blondie brownies. Um, look at that deliciousness. You guys know I love anything sweet, so I am completely stoked for these. These are pumpkin blondie brownies with white chocolate and pecans. Doesn't that sound amazing? But here's kind of the good news on these. If you are someone that tracks calories only, these blondies are only 110 calories a piece. Of course, points and everything were here on the screen. They do have 10 grams of sugar, which I don't think is that bad for a brownie. So let's taste these. So here is what they look like. Don't those look delicious? So it's actually a pretty good size for 110 calories. It smells so good. Cheers. So delicious. So, so delicious. It is not overly sweet, which kind of explains why there isn't as much sugar as you'd anticipate in a brownie. It's very pumpkin-y. It actually reminds me a lot of pumpkin bread. And then it has big chunks of pecans, which makes it so good. And this little drizzle on top is nice and sweet. So in my opinion, for 110 calories, this is a really good option for a sweet treat. So 
10 out of 10 for these pumpkin blondies. Next up is the garden vegetable soup. So this is brand new for fall to Trader Joe's and I have heard that this soup is delicious. So I had to pick it up. I found it over in the non-perishable section where you find all of the other chicken broths and soups. So this is 110 calories per one cup, which is not bad at all. It has excellent ingredients. I just wish that the veggies were organic, but it has really, really good ingredients. This would be great for a cool fall day or evening with some crusty bread or some crackers. I'm excited for this. This is going to make a quick and simple lunch or dinner. And again, this is seasonal, so I've heard this is delicious. I'm not going to taste test it, obviously, because I want to have it for a meal, but I will definitely report back on how this is, but I have heard rave reviews. Next are these apple fruit snacks. These are new. They also had mango jalapeno. Who doesn't love a good fruit snack? These would be great for kids and adults alike. So these are the apple ones. You guys know I'm not a big spicy fan. I didn't know how spicy the mango jalapeno ones would be. So I grabbed the apple. It says with apple puree concentrate and honey crisp apple juice. So that sounds really good. Has pretty good ingredients on the back. It is 100 calories for a quarter of a cup. And the only ingredient that I don't love is natural apple flavor, which as you know, most things that are flavored are going to have a little bit of natural flavor. So let's taste test these two. So here's what they look like. They're actually shaped like little apples. They smell absolutely delicious. They literally smell like apple juice. So let's try these. Cheers. These are really, really delicious. They have a different texture than your traditional kind of soft and chewy fruit snack. They are a little bit harder texture, which I actually really like. They're small, so you actually get a lot for the calories and a quarter of a cup and the points. They're really good. They taste like real apples. There's absolutely no artificial taste to these fruit snacks at all. And ingredient wise, these are a good option for kids. I didn't look at the sugar. So there's 24 grams of sugar, but only 11 grams of added sugar, which means the remaining 13 grams is naturally occurring, which that's still a lot of sugar. So if you watch the sugar, maybe not, but it's a better option than a lot of the fruit snacks out there. New product alert. This is the Trader Joe's, this coconut brings chocolate on a date bars. I'm pretty excited about these. I think anything sweetened with dates is such a good option. It's a natural sugar. It makes it nice and sweet without any added sugar. So let's take a look at these bars. We'll talk about calories, ingredients. So these bars are 170 calories a piece, so not bad. And these ingredients are stellar. So our ingredients are date paste, which is the sweetness, almond butter, how awesome is that? Coconut flakes, unsweetened chocolate chunks, and cocoa powder. That's it. So if you want a nice, clean, healthy bar for yourself or your kids, as long as this tastes good, this is an excellent option. So here's the size of the bar. They are pretty small. They are pretty heavy and pretty dense though. So I'm excited to try them. They sound amazing. And like I said, ingredient wise, it's perfection. Here's what the bar looks like. And let's try it. Cheers. It's really good. If you like coconut, you're going to love it. It has real chunks of coconut. I definitely taste that. I definitely, definitely taste the dates. It gives it a nice sweetness. And there's just a subtle hint of chocolate. It's really good. I feel like this bar would be really filling, maybe a more filling option than a traditional granola bar. So if you're a calorie counter, not bad at all. And like I said, it tastes really, really delicious. Great to throw in your car, your purse, in your lunch. 10 out of 10. Pumpkin spice pretzel thins. Now you're speaking my language. I love the coated pretzel thins. I actually bought the peppermint one, peppermint white chocolate ones from Costco last year. They're amazing. They're dangerous and addicting. And I have a feeling these are going to be the same. When I checked out the gal at Trader Joe's that checked me out said that these are incredible. They're very sweet. So that's a good thing because that way you don't overindulge necessarily, maybe not overindulge, but I'm excited to try these. You can have five pretzels for 150 calories. The ingredients, of course, are not 100% clean. This isn't a clean food. This is a treat food, but I can't wait to try these because I love all things pretzels. I love all things pumpkin. I have a feeling these are going to be a little dangerous. So here's what they look like. They are completely coated in pumpkin. They have little nuts on top and a little bit of a pumpkin drizzle. They smell so good and spicy and pumpkin-y. Can't wait. Cheers. So good. The perfect combination of salty and sweet pumpkin flavor comes shining through. These are delicious. Absolutely positively delicious. It says pumpkin spice pretzel thins, thins with crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. It is all things pumpkin. They are sweet. I will give you that. 
three, four, even the serving of five is perfect. These are really, really delicious. Next, let's do a few frozen items. I actually just pulled the three that I picked up out of my freezer, starting with this. And I, we had this last year. It is so good. This is the Riced Cauliflower and Butternut Squash Risotto. This is incredibly, incredibly delicious. Again, we had this last year. It was so, so delicious. I just took a closer look at the ingredients. All of the ingredients are great except for one. This does contain yeast extract, which is another word for MSG. And the reason that yeast extract or MSG is put into foods is because it makes you crave them. It makes you want more and more of them. So it's kind of a tactic when it comes to food manufacturers to make you crave their food. So that's unfortunate because every other ingredient in here is good. This is absolutely delicious. It's low calorie, it's low point. So this would be a great side dish with some chicken or some other type of protein source. Again, really, really delicious. So I'd highly recommend picking this up even though it has yeast extract. The next thing I picked up are these root vegetable fries. Oh my goodness, these sound good. These actually have pretty decent ingredients. There's a couple ingredients I don't love, but nothing that's really alarming. So what this is, is it's carrots, beets, parsnips, and sweet potatoes that are cut up that you could throw in your oven or air fryer and have a healthy version of a fry. I've heard that these are delicious. I can't wait, you guys, seriously, to put these in my air fryer so they're nice and crispy. And it's, it's a better option than a french fry. Not that french fries are bad because they're not. No food is bad. But this is a great option if you wanna try to up your veggie game and still get a little bit of fry action, highly recommend. And this is the last frozen item. These are the mini spicy pumpkin samosas. Again, I've heard these are amazing. I'm actually going to pop one of these in the microwave. I know it's not the best way to warm it up, but I want to try this on camera. These are spicy pumpkin and paneer filling. Let me know if, what paneer is, if you guys know, wrapped in a crisp flaky pastry. So remember the last pumpkin haul that I did where I showed you the pumpkin empanadas, which are so good. So good, I'll pop a picture in here of what those look like. That was definitely a sweet pumpkin item. This is a savory pumpkin item. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave so that I can try these for you. But basically you can have four of these for 170 calories. Pretty decent ingredients. The only thing that they use that I don't love is canola oil. I just wish they used a little higher quality oil. But overall, not bad for ingredients. Lots of ingredients, but not absolutely terrible. So let's warm one of these up. All right, so here is what she looks like. It looks really good. Smells really good. It definitely smells savory, so let's try it. Cheers. Even out of the microwave, that was delicious. So it definitely has a kick that I wasn't expecting. Honestly, it has a little bit of a kick, but it's really good. It's very savory. Kind of on a sweet side, too. I do taste maybe corn in there. It was really good. I would recommend putting these in your air fryer or your oven, make them nice and crispy. They'd be a great appetizer. Or you could also pair this with a zero point protein and have it for dinner. Delicious, absolutely really, really delicious. We'll definitely be eating those up. Next are the cinnamon bun cookies. Now these look delicious. You know me and my love for cookies, so I had to pick these up. These are soft baked cinnamon and brown sugar cookies sandwiching a cinnamon bun flavored cream filling. Doesn't that sound amazing? What I am hoping, what I'm hoping is that these taste like a cinnamon roll. I have been told that these are really good warmed up. So I'm going to take a bite out of the package and then I'm gonna throw it in my microwave for about five to 10 seconds, warm it up, and I'll let you know which way I think is better. Oh, these literally smell like a cinnamon roll. Woo! All right, so here is what they look like. They have that nice like cinnamon cream filling. They got a little sugar on the outside. Oh my gosh, I can't stop smelling it. So we're gonna try it first out of the package, then we'll warm it up. Cheers. Really good, really, really good. Definitely has cinnamon roll vibes, but I think it's going to be better warmed up. It's not as soft as I was anticipating, so let me pop it in my microwave. Hopefully that softens it up and kind of melts that creamy filling, making it more like a cinnamon roll. All right, we're all warmed up, so let's try it warm. That's what I'm talking about. Highly recommend warming these up. Definitely warm them up. It is literally a cinnamon roll. Oh my gosh. These are so good, so good. They're very sweet. They're very cinnamony. For me, one's enough, and I love cookies. I mean, I can eat a whole pack of cookies, so the fact that one of these is enough for me, it's sweet, it's indulgent, it's rich, it's really delicious. So two cookies is 140 calories, so a little calorie heavy. They're pretty small. They're delicious, though. I'm not even gonna talk ingredients because it's a mile long, but these are delicious. So if you love cinnamon rolls, 
and you want that kind of cinnamon roll, makes you warm and cozy during fall and winter, pick these up. You won't be disappointed, they're really good. Last time I did my Trader Joe's haul, these were out of stock. Well, they were back, so I bought them. These are the pumpkin spice batons. I was so bummed out when these were out of stock for my last video, so I was so happy that they're back. Let's try them. These are one thing that I've been pretty excited about. You can have two of these cookies for 120 calories. So I see dextrin, which is another word for sugar and maltodextrin in here. Again, it's a sweet treat. It's not going to be clean, but I'm excited to try these, so let's dig in. How do you open these suckers? I can't get it open. <laughs> like, help, how do you open it? We're getting some scissors. I can't get this open. Okay, this is real life. The lid's taped, first of all, Jen. That's partly why you couldn't get it open. And I had to kind of pop it open, and then they actually come in this little sleeve. This is the hardest thing I've ever opened. I'm not even joking. Literally Fort Knox, but this is what they look like. All right, I'm excited for this. I was hoping these would be back. Cheers. These are pretty darn good. I'm a little disappointed. They're not as pumpkin-y as I was hoping. I definitely taste that creamy filling and the nice crisp wafer, but honestly, you guys, they're not as pumpkin-y as I was wanting them to be. I don't really love them. I mean, they taste good if you don't care about the pumpkin flavor. I was really hoping that that would be the shining star. So I probably wouldn't buy these again. I'll probably end up taking these to my real estate office. I don't know that it's worth the points and the calories, if I'm being completely honest. A new product are these dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. I'm a big fan of a peanut butter cup. I love sunflower nut butter. So these I'm excited about. These are gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, tree nut-free, peanut-free, and vegan. So for people that love Reese's peanut butter cups but can't have them due to allergies or being vegan, this is a great option. So you can have three cups for 170 calories. They have excellent ingredients. How exciting for a sweet treat to have such good ingredients. Let's take a look at them. So here's the size of them. They're actually a lot like the little mini Reese's peanut butter cups. And again, you can have three of these for 170 calories or the points on the screen. So let's try them. Oh, they smell really good. They actually smell just like a Reese's. Cheers. Yes. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. I'm not even the biggest fan of dark chocolate. I don't get dark chocolate. They are so good. The inside is very creamy, so it's not grainy like a Reese's. It's very creamy. It literally tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup, though. I wouldn't know that it's sunflower butter. I wouldn't know that it doesn't have peanuts in it. Really delicious. I would definitely buy these again. They're the perfect size. I mean, you can have one of them. They're sweet, they're satisfying. Way to go, Trader Joe's. These are great, and the fact that they have really good ingredients is a huge win. Pumpkin pie spiced ginger brew. It's a darn good thing that I didn't have any lunch because I just ate all of that, which is my lunch. I'm nice and full, and now I need something to wash all the goodness down with. This is the final product that I have in today's fall haul, and this is the pumpkin pie spiced ginger brew sparkling beverage sweetened with apple juice concentrate and cane sugar. So a serving size is 12 ounces for 140 calories two servings per bottle. I'm excited to try this. This would be a great mixer if you wanted kind of a fall adult beverage. So let's give it a try. Oh, it smells so gingery. I love ginger. Cheers. This is really good. I will tell you, if you are not a fan of ginger, you're not gonna like it. That is the flavor that is front and center, is the ginger. It's sparkly, it's really good. I mean, it's a ginger brew, so you'd kind of anticipate that. To be honest, I don't really taste pumpkin but it's really, really delicious. It's sweet, especially for me because I don't drink pop or regular pop. So it's pretty sweet, but again, I think it would be a great mixer and it would be good and kind of fun and different to have during fall, something a little sparkly and gingery. So they had this turkey apple cranberry salad. Now it looked really, really delicious, but it was really high in calories. I wanna say 250 and there was, I think three servings in this little container. So I didn't pick that up, but this is over with all their wraps and pre-made salads. And then they had this turkey and pumpkin mole burrito. Now this looked really good as well, but it was over 500 calories and I just wasn't sure on it. So I didn't want to buy it, spend the calories and points and not sure if I was going to like it, but this is also over in their pre-made sandwich section. And then same with these, these are the gobbler quesadilla. So it's mozzarella cheese, roasted turkey breast, butternut squash, cranberries, and kale in a flour tortilla. Now this looked really good. It was about 400 calories. Again, I just didn't know if it would be something I was interested in, so I didn't buy it. It is also in that pre-made section, kind of over by the produce. 
And then they had gluten-free pumpkin bread. I thought this was great for those of you that have to follow a gluten-free lifestyle. This looked absolutely delicious. They also had gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. So you know I hauled the regular pumpkin spice bagels, which by the way, are completely gone. I love them. But again, for those of you following gluten-free, they are there and it, they were $4.99 for the bag, which I didn't think was bad. They also had these chocolate mousse pumpkins. Now I've purchased these before. Actually, when we sold our house up on the South Hill prior to the house that we live in now, not that you guys know what the South Hill is, but anyways, our previous house, I bought these for the open house and they're really good. Really, really delicious. They also had this pumpkin brioche twist. Now I almost bought this because it looked so good, but I feel like it's dangerous dangerous. So I didn't pick it up, but it looks amazing. It would be great for Thanksgiving. It'd be great for breakfast on Thanksgiving day. They also had this pumpkin granola bark. Now this was all organic, which I was happy to see, but I have heard that this isn't that great. So again, I didn't want to pick it up, not knowing if I would like it. It was $3 and 99 cents for the bag. They also had in the frozen section, this cheesy spaghetti squash casserole for $4.99. Now this looked really good as well. I can't remember why I didn't get it. It probably was really high in fat and calories. And again, just wasn't sure that I would want to work that into my day. And then they had this and I actually almost got this because it wasn't bad calorie wise for a serving, but I got so many sweet things as you saw in this haul that I passed it up. But this is the rustic apple tart. It looks amazing. Again, great for Thanksgiving. And then they have this pumpkin chocolate chip cookie mix. Now, I couldn't remember if I showed this to you guys before, so I snapped a quick picture. It's $3.99 for the container. It's pretty much everything you need to make the cookie, so super fun and easy for kids. And then they had mini cornbread biscotti. So this is new. So I picked up the pumpkin biscotti, and I'm guessing you would use this on thing, in things like chili. I just didn't get it because I still have the pumpkin biscotti, but... I may pick it up before the end of the season. It looks really good. And these are the same as they had last year. These are only 99 cents. They are this super cute hot cocoa spoon. So the spoon has chocolate and marshmallows. And I did buy these for some of my real estate clients that closed on their house in the month of October for their kids. Great thing for kids. And again, they're only 99 cents. They also had autumn maple coffee cups. These were, I believe, $4.99. These looked really good as well if you're looking for some type of a coffee in a cup. Hello, maple, delicious. They also had a new tea. This is the organic blood orange Rubio's herbal tea. Thrilled that it was organic because you should always buy your tea organic, but I didn't pick it up simply because I have so much tea. Another new product is their ginger turmeric granola. Again, I didn't pick this up either just because I have so much granola. I love the purely Elizabeth and I did buy the apple, the caramel apple, and it's delicious. So I did, I skipped picking this up, but if you like ginger and turmeric, this would be a great option. They also had, or didn't have, they had the sign for the butternut squash mac and cheese. Now, I was going to pick this up and taste test it for you, but they were sold out. But if you can get your hands on this, again, I've heard it's amazing, $2.99, not bad at all. And then they had, this is a new product, so I wanted to throw it in here. This is the veggie burrito. Now, these were about 310 calories, so I'm guessing they'd maybe be seven or eight smart points, but these are over in the freezer section by the tamales and the enchiladas, so I wanted to show those to you. And then, of course, the fall pasta is back. I, again, didn't pick this up just because I'm a big Fiber Gourmet fan, as you know, but it's only $1.99 for the bag, and it's fun for kids. It's pumpkin-shaped. They also had pumpkin pie spice for $1.99 and ginger for $1.99. Now, I only buy Dax pumpkin spice. It's my favorite. It's linked down below in the description box with 10% off for Dax. Love it. But in the event that you're at Trader Joe's, they do have pumpkin pie and ginger. They also have a special maple syrup for fall. This is the bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. It was a big bottle for $9.99. If I didn't have so much syrup, I would have picked this up as well. And then they also had pumpkin spice liqueur. So I put this in my car and then I put it back. I'm not a big drinker, but I think I may grab this for Thanksgiving because you know what this would be really good in? Coffee. I was thinking it would be a nice little evening treat. It was only $8.99. They finally have their ghosts and bats. These are $1.99 a bag. I didn't get these because I got these last year. And to me, they don't have a lot of flavor, but if you use them to dip, then I think that they would be great because they're low points, but again, they just don't have a lot of flavor on their own.
So that is everything, my friends, for this Trader Joe's fall haul. This is probably the last one of the season because we're going to be moving in to Christmas. So that is what's going to be next. And of course, I'll be doing all the holiday hauls as well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the new fall products, all of the taste tests, and also all of the other products that I didn't pick up that would be great if you wanted to try them out for yourself. So there is so many fall things at Trader Joe's. If you live far away, in my opinion, it is 100% worth the trip at least one time during fall to pick up all the pumpkin and fall goodies. Again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Subscribe to my second channel. I'd love to have you over there. Check out that description box for links, discount codes to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website, my Facebook group, and then of course my recipe website as well. So definitely spend a little time down in that description box. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know to keep doing these hauls and these taste tests for you, and it really helps out my channel. So thank you for that. And of course, I'll see you all in my next video. Happy fall, y'all.